What's up guys, this is a quick unboxing for the Crabtree Starbreaker, which is a metal mains switch box. So this one is actually an 18 way and you can get hold of them in a 13 way and a 10 way as well. So I've actually bought this from Amazon and I paid £99 for it and I will leave a link in the description below. So first of all, you've got the Crabtree Tactical Hotline number. So if you have any problems or any issues, you can ring them directly. So right guys, I'll get the box out so we can have a look at it. And like I said, it is made out of metal and it, and it is pretty heavy. So this is what the actual box looks like and I'll show you around the box. So first of all at the bottom we can see all these knockout holes. So you can knock these out and put a grommet through them and feed your wires through. On the sides of it, I'll do my best to get them in. But there's only one knockout at the very top. On the other side it's very similar, just one knockout at the very top only, nothing at the bottom. So on the very top of it, it's same as the bottom. We've got loads of knockout spaces. Again, just to put some grommets through and feed your wires through. Finally, on the back of it, if you can see that we've got three knockout spaces there. So you can actually feed your wires from the back of it as well. And then you've got your fixture holes on the side and on the bottom as well. So that's everything around the box itself. So the box itself does actually come bare. It doesn't come any uh, come with any bits inside it. So I'll show you that now. The only actual thing it does come with is the main switch. That's the only thing it comes with. It doesn't come with any MCBs or RCDs so right guys I'll show you what it looks like so that's what it looks like inside if you can see that I will actually open it up and let you see what it looks like inside before I open it up I will tell you the reason why I've actually bought this is to replace my existing plastic switch box which I fitted over a year ago but now new regulations have come out and you have to have a metal switch box fitted to get it signed off. So for that reason, I'm replacing mine. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to replace my box with this metal one and reuse all the internal fixtures and fittings from the plastic one into the, directly into this one. So I'm going to replace and, and, and fit all the MCBs, which are miniature circuit breakers, and I'm going to fit the RCDs as well. And they're the residual current devices. And I will be using all the wires from that as well. Uh, the best thing about it is that the actual plastic box is not within the regulations. But everything inside it is within the regulations. So all the RCDs and the MCBs are totally fine to reuse in this one. So right guys, I'll uh, open this up and show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like inside. So we do get this inside it and that's basically 
instructions, installation instructions for the consumer unit and you actually get your stickers as well to uh, put on it if it's the upstairs circuits and downstairs circuits or the kitchen circuits. So back to the box again. So this is what it looks like internally and it's just like the plastic uh, switch boxes exactly the same inside so me miniature circuit breakers won't have an issue fitting directly back into the or me rcds either so they basically just hook onto here and they just push clip push into these slots here so like i said there you've got the main switch you've got the buzz bar and uh, at the very top we've got all the negative terminals and we've got the all all the earth terminals and that's it guys that's everything i can show you within this box so what i will do is i'll show you me all switch box and i'll i'll show you all the internal stuff inside what i'm going to reuse again so right guys this is the plastic switch box which i'm going to be replacing with the metal one and you can see all the rccbs and the mcbs within it all the miniature circuit breakers on this side and this side as well and i've got two sets of rccbs so the rccbs are there to monitor any changes in the live and neutral current flows so that if any imbalance occurs like um, any faults or somebody getting electrocuted or something like that it'll automatically trip the switches so the mcbs before they used to be used as fuses in there and they've been replaced by these switches now so if they notice any access power being used or being drained they will trip as well so right guys i'll show you what it actually looks like within the box and i'll do that now so i'm going to be very careful here i know it's turned on but there's no lights so if I turn everything off you won't be able to see anything but I'm not actually going to touch anything within it so I'm just going to give you a quick look and I don't advise anybody to do this they should turn the mains off first So if you can see that that's how it's wired up and it is exactly the same with the buzz bar at the back if you can just see it on this side over here i'm not going to actually go near it because it is live so i'm just going to show you from from here so that's where the buzz bar is and it runs all the way along there just like the metal one and you just hook them onto there and push them in and slot them in there so i should have no issues but like you can see all the neutral uh, all the neutral spots are exactly the same and the earth uh, connections are exactly the same as well so right guys i don't know what else i can show you but um that's uh just to show you i'm showing you my old box just to show you that you can replace everything exactly the same across i am going to actually change some of my circuits around because I put a few too many on the same circuit so I need to swap them over so right guys uh, I don't think I can show you anything else and uh, thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, I hope this helps somebody out who's uh, having problems finding a box thanks guys bye